What's up, Jeff? Come on, Jeff. I see you raising your hand. Hop on, Jeff. How you been, Tyreek? It's been a long time. Okay, I, I don't quite remember. We we talked before, Jeff. Yeah, you got me on your YouTube vid, uh, your YouTube channel, I, and I didn't give you permission, but it's all right. Yeah, because I don't need permission because this is a public okay. forum. But go ahead, go ahead. My question to you is: You keep saying you built the country from scratch, yeah, right? You know, when was the country done being built? Um, what the, year? The basic foundation of the United States was built by the mid 1800s. The basic foundation of it was built by the mid 1800s. And, and, you, and you think you were the only people working? Um, we were the only, only slave. Uh, absurd. We were the foundation. We were the 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 people who dug the ditches, built the bridges, built the initial um, homes. Multiple we, multiple people did that. Who who were the other other people? You weren't even the majority of the labor who, force at the beginning of who, the country. It was the, who were the indentured old, servants? Who, you have the Irish on the railroads, the Chinese on the railroads. Stop, if you don't, it took stop, a lot more than just slavery. Stop, if you don't stop, the Irish on the railroads, my ass. These Baltimore and Ohio, the, railroad the first common carrier rail. If you were, don't stop babbling over me with your lies, the railroad companies had enslaved foundational black Americans by the thousands, dude, if you don't stop it. The documents and the records are there. There was a reason why these railroad companies owned foundational black Americans who were building these railroads all up and down the East Coast and missed me with the Chinese people built them because they came in later to expand the railroad system to the West. So let's stop the lies, okay? Go ahead. You're not going to just lie and babble. We're going to slow well, that right down. Thing. There's never a time in American history when slaves who, were the only people working. Who, I hope you realize else? that. Who else? Who else? Let's talk about the Polish craftsmen, the Dutch craftsmen that the Virginia Company imported. See, you don't even know history. I do know history. Just, slaves know were history. never the only people working. Matter of fact, they were, they were a minority. That's they were a, a damn minority lie. Of the labor force. That's a lie. That is a damn lie. You never a, passed. Th there is a reason why the banking industry, the modern banking industry, and the modern insurance industry, and the modern medical industry was born out of the enslavement of foundational Black Americans, sir. It wasn't a major, a minority situation. You didn't have Split. all of those grand. You didn't have all of those grand institutions being built out of a minority group, sir. What are you talking about? Slaves never passed twenty percent of the population. Stop it, sir. In places this country like, was eighty percent like white. Indian, stop those lies, sir. In places like South Carolina, black people were the majority. Yeah, if you don't stop in the it. South, in two states in the South. Stop it, sir. There were black people who were enslaved by the millions in this country. We were in not another... a minority. We were never. A, we were not a minority like that. They had to bring in white immigrants to throw our numbers off because there were so many of us, sir. What are you talking? Well, they about? were here before you already who, exporting tobacco. Who who, who? who? Who was white here before people? Us? The who? English already exporting tobacco before oh, any stop. slave came in the colony. Stop it. Stop it. Sir. When did slaves come in the fir first colony? There, uh, there were black people coming now with the Europeans. Black people. Yes, because there were black people came with the Europeans starting in the 1500s. Yeah. Well, 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 in 1492. Well, there was there were black yeah, people Yeah, I know with about Columbus. the Florida, the Florida, right? Yeah. No, there were black people who came with Columbus. There were black people who well, here's the thing. Columbus where this place was. So, wait, no, no, stop it. Stop it. There were black people here in the 1500s with the Spanish. So what are you talking about? Yeah, in the southern uh, the southern region. But here's the thing, Tyreek. Multiple people built this country. No, and for you to just say no, slaves who? built it. Who? White you, people? No, the who? Chinese? What, from where? Different Stop European it. immigrants? You're, you're from where? What white people? From where? Because Let's talk white, about England. Who? Uh, well, the who Irish, they failed. English, the English Italian. failed. Okay, we're going to stop. The English failed multiple times before black people came in the picture. In Roanoke, they failed when they tried to do it themselves. They failed in the Virginia colony when they tried to do it themselves. They starved and damn near ate each other to death. They ate each other, dude. Don't m stop with the bullshit history. Well, we know history here. They were they already were exporting. They were already exporting tobacco. They were before doing shit. Yeah. No, they, were, they were over here failing. And Go look up the first they successful uh, cultivation. It's by a white when? man. There, there was John no success. Ralph. There was no. What, what year are you talking? You're talking around 1612. They started exporting around 1613. You can were go on successful. Google. 
they were not successful. That was the starving time. 1612 was that was the no, starving time six, over there. The starving time was 1609 to 1610. So that was the all of that was the starving time. You did you thought they came out of the starving time and they started. Well, here's the reality: the a slave reality, only does starving. The reality: a slave only does starving. what his master says. You That's didn't organize the society. You didn't handle they, the business they, side. They, they, you didn't they, organize this country. They used our talent, and we had the talent. They used the, the multiple wherewithal. people's talent. No, they did multiple not. Multiple no, people. They didn't. No, they didn't. No, they a didn't lot because of... there was no multiple people. Listen. There was no, there was no multiple people. Yes, there well, was. Multiple people. No, there wasn't. You can't say First it, of all, it was the English. a lot of infrastructure wasn't even built in the time stop, of slavery. Stop, stop, stop. You're not going to babble. What multiple people were here in the 1600s besides the English, the black people, and the, the red English, natives? Who else? The Pope. The English, the Polish, the Polish the didn't Irish. come over. They, they weren't over here yet. Stop. Yeah, um, the Virginia Company sent skilled craftsmen. The Dutch Polish men were and Polish not over men. here yet. Well, go look it up right now. The Polish. Were so you don't know what you're talking yet. about. Multiple people built this country, not just no, they slaves. Did not. No, they did not. No, they did. And a it lot of infrastructure wasn't even built during stop, slavery. Stop it! It was foundational Black Americans. Y'all weren't building shit. You weren't building shit in Europe. Europe was a hellhole. So what are you talking about? You weren't building nothing. What were you building in Europe? Hello, hop on. Turn your microphone on. Turn your microphone on, Jeff. Yeah, you muted me. Go ahead. You said, all right, you said we didn't build anything in Europe. Why don't you, you go look up the countries with the highest living standards? They're all European countries. No, and a no, couple no, 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 no. We're talking about So them. what are you no, no, talking no, 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 about? No, stop. No, no, we're talking about We them. built the most developed no, countries no, 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 in the world. No, 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 Don't you move the timeline up. I'm talking about in the 1600s, Europe was a hellhole. Y'all weren't building nothing over there. So what are you talking about? English. The England had uh, the biggest navy. See, Man, Terry, if you don't just see, listen if you to don't me stop. one second, all right? You, no, stop it, stop it. You, you stop it. You're just babbling right now. A lot of have, infrastructure wasn't even built during slavery. The skyscrapers were built on. after slavery. The highways were oh. built after slavery. So you can't make mm -hmm. a claim that slaves built everything because it's not true. We did. We built the foundation of this country, sir. We built the foundation you didn't. of this country. Yes, we you did. didn't establish yes, this did. country. That was white men. We, we built the foundation of this country, sir, from top to bottom. You've it been here the, since the, the, the beginning. White, the white man held the whip. The white supremacists held the whip. The but, average white man wasn't a slave master. So, but what are you country, talking about? But but the country was dominated by slavery, and it was sanctioned by the government and the military, sir. So everybody no. was complicit. Everybody in the dominant society was complicit in this. Well, there was slavery on every continent. So well, why isn't everywhere we're rich? Talk, we're talking why isn't every country, country rich? We're talking about this country because every country didn't have foundational black Americans. And we are the secret sauce of this country. So That's why. You're the we secret are the sauce. secret sauce of this country. And you know it. So why couldn't you build Liberia when we gave uh, you because Liberia? We, uh, because Liberia was a finesse. It was a trick bag. That was something controlled and dominated by the white supremacists. It's always an excuse. It, 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 it's always the white supremacists. It's always the white supremacists, sir. When we when people come Liberia, to this we country, they don't Liberia. come for you, Tariq. We were not from. They don't Liberia. come for your people. Liberia they come to work for companies and you're business. Not, you're not going to babble over me. Liberia was not our homeland, so you're going to bring up Liberia. So you're just throwing um, the kitchen sink at the wall and trying to see what sticks. You're just throwing everything on the wall. You're throwing all of these white supremacist talking points. The reality is you, as a suspected white supremacist, you have to thank foundational black Americans for making a lane for you. Because if I don't have to thank you for yes, anything. You do, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Because you come from an immigrant class. You're, I don't work for you. You're, you you're, haven't, you're, no, you, but, your people yeah. haven't provided me anything. Yes, we have. If it weren't for us, you would still um, be somewhere. Yes, sir. You, you sir, don't do it. If, if it weren't for us, you would be somewhere in Ireland eating a potato, pulling a, a leech out your ass. If it weren't for Foundation of Black Americans, stop it. Okay? Let's not play games, Jeff. You know, if it weren't for you know, us. Ireland has one of the highest GDPs per capita right oh, now. I Ireland didn't get their shit together until the nineties. It doesn't matter. They yes, got it, it together. It so when matter. are you going to get it together? Ireland didn't get its shit together until the nineties. Y'all were starving until the damn nineties. So stop it. Miss me with that, um, Jeff. You need to thank foundational Black Americans for giving you a lane to come over here and eat. Okay. 
Why would I thank you? You didn't because, organize the society. Because, yo, yo, you were my, just, my, my people you just listened to the master. My people, my people. You did what the master it. said. My you people, didn't organize this country. Uh, my people did it. My people built it from scratch. Okay? No, your people just, contributed just, just, just like because, everyone else just did. Just because the white supremacists colonized all of our greatness, that doesn't mean we're still not great. Okay? Y'all just colonized everyone has great. greatness in them. Uh, but uh, the white but you're not the only one that built no. this country, but and you, you need to recognize that. Anything. You didn't. You didn't. Build well, we anything. have photos of us building things. No, no why do we have you photos have of us building photos. skyscrapers? You have photos right? of the. You have photos of suspected white supremacists getting off a boat on Ellis Island, um, eating off us. That's what you have pictures of, like your family. Y'all brought your broke asses to Ellis Island, got off a boat, and y'all started eating off the labor and the work of foundational Black Americans. That's what we have pictures of, sir. Okay, go ahead, Jeff. We have pictures, we have photos, we have videos uh -huh. of us building things, uh, of you, but we never built nothing uh, in this country, right? Um, you got right. it. Everything was built by foundational Black Americans. Everything wasn't built by yes, foundational was. Black yes, Americans. Multiple people contributed. You didn't do it. And for you what, to say everything is such a lie, Jeff. Jeff, what part of Ireland are your people from? I'm not even from. Irish. Uh, what are you, Jeff? Don't worry about it. You are, I'm you're foundational and, and which is which is further proof you're even you're too ashamed to even name what crap hole in europe your family came from sir that further proves my point you come from such an ancient lineage you're too ashamed to even name it i'm not i am a foundational black american my lineage goes back to the swamps of north carolina and i'm proud of my people surviving the traumatic experiences they've survived me and my people, we have resilience that is unmatched. I am not ashamed. I'm very proud of my people. Your musty yeah. ass. And you contributed to building this country. You're ashamed of your failed European ancestry because y'all had to flee that crap hole over there, eating sauerkraut and boogers, and get on a boat and come over here and eat off us. And you're too ashamed to even acknowledge the hell hole you came from, which proves my point, Jeff. Go ahead. Last words for Jeff. Multiple people contributed okay, to building this country. The same thing, and you multiple people didn't do anything but flee. Multiple people. If you fled. built this country, built multiple your community. People up. fled just like your ass. Y'all fled and came over here. You didn't build anything. So you're repeating the same lie. Don't make it true, Jeff. So since you've run out of material, I bid you farewell. Let me get some more people here. You didn't build nothing. You built a boat to get your ass out of that flea bag you were living in over there in Europe, sir. That's what you built to get the hell on and come eat off us. All right. Let me see who we got in here. All right. Let's get um the average black American in here. All right. What's up? The average black American. Hop on. Yes, sir. How are you today? Tonight. I'm good, family. How are you? I'm pretty decent, man. I actually had a conversation with that a uh, piece of crap um, earlier today and yesterday and uh, it, him and his friends calling me the N-word or whatever and just repeating the same shit, keep continually talking about Africa, making those disingenuous claims about uh, what their people did. And, you know, it all boils down to one question. If you were so great, why did you leave where you came from? And then another thing, if you um, built everything, why did you need slave labor to build it? And exactly. End it there. Alama. Exactly. Thank you, brother. Yeah, they, they love trying to remix history. And see, these white supremacists are getting more hostile because the reparations conversation is getting more solidified and we're standing on that square and we're looking at real reparations popping off in the horizon. So you notice the hostility coming from these white supremacists now. You guys didn't build. It was built by everybody. Everybody like who? If you don't get the hell out of here, no, everybody didn't build this country. Y'all not going to tell that lie. You're not, to, you're not going to remix history. This country was built by foundational black Americans. Don't, they try to downplay slavery as if that was, oh, just a minority. No, cotton was king. There's a reason why that saying was popular in this country. Cotton is king. Slavery was the main event in this country. That wasn't no side event. That wasn't no little incidental thing. Slavery was the main event. And all of these other industries and all of these other corporate industries were born out of the slave trade. The railroad system came out of slavery. 
the military schools that were in the South, they came out of slavery. The modern medical industry came out of slavery. The modern insurance companies came out of slavery. The, um, the modern banking systems came out of slavery. Wall Street, the stock market came out of slavery. All of it. I want black folks to understand that when these white supremacists get the babbling, y'all better check them on that bullshit. Slavery was the number one game in town. Don't let these folks fool you talking about all of these. It, there weren't no other groups over here. It was the Polish did. There were no Polish. It wasn't a lot of Polish people. It was a handful of those people here and there. But for the most part, it was only English. With some of the, the Spanish came for a quick second, but then they ended up going down into Central and South America because we ran them out of here. The French got ran out when they tried to come down in St. Augustine and other places. They didn't stay long. So we're really talking about the English, the red natives and us. That was it in the beginning. So the red natives weren't building anything. The red natives were turning in the black Aboriginal people and the black Aboriginal people were being reclassified as Negro and put into bondage legally. The white supremacists from England, they weren't building nothing because they didn't know how to really build anything. So who was building? Come on, we just have to break this thing down. Who was? It was us building everything. It was us building everything. We're not going to let these people remix history. Let me get some other people in here. Let's get um, cognitive dissonance in here. Cognitive. Hop on, man. What's up, Cognitive? How you doing, Brother Tariq? Uh, shout out to you. Uh, I was at the FBA rally, and I will be at the Expo coming up in May. Uh, quick, yes, sir. quick question. I wanted to know how do you feel about the whole issue going on with Oprah Winfrey and The View? Now, what's happening with Oprah and The View? What, what went down? Well, they're saying she's been passing gas on the show. they just been really running her ass down, and she just keeps coming back for more, but I'll land my plane. Okay, I, I I didn't hear no shit like that. <laughs> Lord, okay, okay, that's weird. Okay, that's weird and random. I don't. I really didn't want to hear about Oprah's farts, but okay. Right, let's get. Uh, what's your name, brothers? I can't even see for shit, man. Solan, Solan. I think that's Solan. So long. What's up, brother? Hey, peace to you. Peace to you. So why uh, all these uh, tevers, they always want to talk about uh, FBA, but they never want to talk about the Brazilians. They never want to talk about the Jamaicans, calling them African or the Cubans or even Dominicans. Right. right. It's always us. This whole thing where we don't we got to go back to Africa, but the Brazilians don't have to go back and they were dropping more Africans off in Brazil than any place. The, the Caribbeans don't have to go back. It's always us. They're always trying to remove us from our lineage. This whole thing they have to try to undermine. No, no, we're good. We are good. We're fine. And by the way, have y'all seen some of these people out here, these Negroes celebrating St. Patrick's Day? Let me tell you, look, Negroes out here, if you got on green clothes and a green hat with a green beard nigga kill yourself if you don't stop don't let me see y'all negroes running around here with green beer and you marching at the saint patrick's day parade sit your ass down you know who i see doing a lot of that a lot of caribbean tethers do that they be doing that celebrating saint patrick's day because a lot especially jamaica because in jamaica you know there's a lot of jamaicans with irish surnames you know that a lot of jamaicans with irish surnames a lot of caribbeans they got this camaraderie with the irish because there were these irish indentured servants on a lot of those plantations and there were a lot of these irish slave owners and overseers in the caribbean so a lot of caribbeans they got some kind of weird camaraderie with the damn irish marcus garvey had a a uh, 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 weird camaraderie with the Irish. The red, black, and green. The green was for the Irish. 
And I talked about that before. That was for the Irish flag. And he, he um, really had an affinity for the Irish. So you'll see when you see Negroes running around here with green hair and green hats, talking about St. Patrick's Day, you check the hairline under those hats. Yeah, you're going to see something interesting. All right, you're going to smell corned beef and mammy. All right, just understand a lot of that ain't us doing that goofy shit. All right, Twizzle. Let me get Twizzle in here. Let's get Twizzle. Hop on, Twiz. T, what's happening, player? Player to another. What's Long up, time no here, man, but I just want to get in and out, man. I just yes, want to say, man, ever since you started that FBA thing, they got so pissed at us because we start identifying themselves and they couldn't ride our coattail. But hey, yeah. they got to get on there. They got to worry about them. As they say, hold your own nuts. And one more thing, Real man. Talk. Keep doing what you're doing, man. I will be out there in December. And man, I don't give a fuck what nobody has got to say. They got to play catch up. We don't have to identify ourselves with nobody because we have the history, the legacy. Not only that, we had the blood that we shared, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing doing Tariq, and I rock with you. And everybody else, Damn. FBA all day. Peace. Real talk. Much respect, bro. Yeah, a lot of folks, man, th there's this whole desire. And my man Twiz hit it on the money, man. The, uh, people want to ride our coattails, and they've been riding it for the longest. We've been carrying a lot of people, guys. And it, it's cool to carry people if it's reciprocal. The problem is it hasn't been reciprocal. So we got to the point like, okay, look, since everybody likes to do them, we're going to do us. Let's make sure we're going to make sure our thing is good. We're going to make sure our lineage is good and we're going to define our culture and point out our culture. And we're going to start gatekeeping our culture just like everybody else. We're going to lay claim to our culture because we have this thing for so long. We do things and we just give it away. And we share our culture with everybody. But that has gotten to the point where people are just being disrespectful with it because they'll take from us and then tell us we didn't contribute nothing. Those days are over. Just like we got this white supremacist in here talking about we didn't really build nothing. It was other people. But you can't name the other people. You're naming these non-existent people. Talking about people in Virginia were thriving with tobacco Man, do y'all know it? And you look at the movie American Maroon. We talk about Virginia and how they were failing in Virginia. Them white supremacists were starving to death, digging up graves and eating people. This is well documented. They were over there eating people like they were in goddamn Applebee's eating chicken fingers. They weren't thriving. The white supremacists were over here starving. In Roanoke, they all ate each other. I think they all disappeared. Over there in Roanoke, North Carolina, the white supremacists sat up there. They left them there for about a year. They came back. All of them were gone. They were over here failing, failing, failing. All of those colonies failed when they tried to build this country on their own. They couldn't do it. The Spanish failed over here. They all failed. You're not going to rewrite history and then lie about somebody was thriving, although they weren't. You weren't thriving during a starving time. They didn't know how to cultivate the land over here. They didn't know, they didn't know none of that because they weren't doing it in Europe. You were failing in Europe. And it was the more saving you over there. Truth be told, you were using all of the, the Moorish science and the Moorish medical documents in order to get your shit together over there in Europe. So we've always had to save them one way or another. This is why it's very important to know history. Get that movie American Maroon. We break a lot of stuff like this down, man. Know your history so you can use your history as ammo against all the bullshit they be trying to say, man. What's up, um, Maroc? Yeah. yeah, what's going on? I want to correct the record on the uh, whole lie about the tobacco thing. Um, because yeah. Leo Weiner did three volumes on the early Americas. And uh, per his evidence, he said, it is not necessary to go once more over the American side of the tobacco smoking since it has become apparent that it's derived from the Negro habit. So they knew for the longest time that this was a Negro habit. And that's why we always seen those so-called Moors with the uh, leaf skirts and the tobacco, of course. 
Tobacco Indians, those black tobacco Absolutely. Indians. Absolutely. Yep. And then one more thing about the uh, about Ireland. Uh, the U.S. has given Ireland over five hundred million dollars in handouts. So I don't want to hear no bullshit about uh, Ireland anymore. Real talk. Yeah, Ireland was a and from a, our a, from a, our labor as well. I don't want to say that. Yeah, real talk. Thank you, brother. But yeah, my man hit up a good point. And you know, doing the museum, I do a lot of research for artifacts and. A lot of white people, they have these collections of these black Indians with tobacco leaves. And they are real high priced. And I was, I was trying to buy some for the museum, but they're so damn high. I'm telling you, when we're trying to get stuff from the museum, a lot of these black artifacts that goes back to the 15 and 1600s, well, they keep them things. They really, really value them. And there are a lot, and I want y'all to Google some of this stuff. Google the tobacco Indians. You'll see they got these Indians, these Native Americans with black phenotypes with tobacco feathers. And when you look at old maps, you'll see a lot of black Aboriginal people with big tobacco feathers. They know who the hell we are. Yeah, don't let this white supremacist come in here talking about the English was thriving with some tobacco. Get the hell out of here. He just be saying anything. Let's get East Side in here. East Side, hop in. East Side, where you at, man? Uh, uh, I'm right here. Hey, uh, peace to the fam. Peace to the room, man. Also, see what that dude was trying to do was that I'm white, not say so. But um, uh, all day. Yep, all day. It was also important to keep in mind we was we weren't just doing agriculture. We was also in designing. We we built a White House. You know, we was drawing, you know, blueprints for streets and everything, for our infrastructure. You know, we yes, had everything going, so they don't know what they be talking about. I land there. Thank you so much. Yeah, it wasn't just the the white man cracking the whip. You had people like Benjamin Banneker who was designing the streets of Washington, D.C., you had brothers like Horace King, who was an enslaved foundational black American, who was an architect, who was designing many of the railroads and the bridges in the South and many of the court buildings. We got the names of some of these people. Go to some of these plantations that's still around, and they'll tell you the truth in some of these places. We were filming down in Louisiana. We filmed bug breaking at a plantation down there. They have a statue of a black man who was enslaved, who was the architect of the damn plantation. They'll tell you, yeah, this black man right here designed the place. We were designing these buildings and houses and, and the, the infrastructure. Don't let these people sit up and lie. This is why it's important for us to take over the reins of history and teach it on our own terms and teach the truth of history. There's a reason why places like Florida and all these people have this anti-woke movement, which is anti-black. And they're trying to just take our history out of the schools. Because too many of us are are awakened. Too many of us know the history and we're we're rejecting the history that they're telling us. Like this white supremacist Jeff. There's teachers like this guy. Just imagine going to school, your kid going to school, and his ass is the teacher talking crazy, and then you try to correct him. You're like, hey, um, Mr. Jeff, that's not true what you just said. Now they're gonna have laws against you telling the truth now. That's what that anti-woke talk is. That's a law against the truth. Let's get um Adiza. What's your name, brother? Adiza. Hop in, brother. Adiza? Adiza Salami. Hop in. It looks like one of them white supremacist troll people. Okay. Okay. Hello. 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 Hey, what's up, bro? Good morning. I'm from Nigeria. There you go. What's on your mind, yeah. bro? Yeah, you know, uh, hello? I can hear you, yeah. sir. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. All right. I just want to say thank you for a lot of things, you know. Because I, I was born in Nigeria here. I grew up in Nigeria here. And uh, I didn't know a lot about black history at all in Nigeria. I didn't know a lot about Nigerian history. I was What I learned about Nigeria was what the British put in our curriculum to, to for us to learn about where we come from. We have to learn yeah. about us from the British. You can, you can imagine somebody telling me 
a British man came to Nigeria to discover River Niger. Yeah, the biggest river in Nigeria. A lot of and a lot a lot of things. So uh, and uh, and uh, my eyes got opened when I saw Hidden Colors one. Then I saw two and three. Then I I I I, I, I was skeptical at first because I was like, ah, oh, this thing's true. You know, this they sound very interesting, the visuals and everything. Yeah. But over the years, I, I found that uh, these things these guys are saying uh, are not from. You guys, because uh, it's easy to say uh, these guys are just, they are just being black. You know, they're just trying to just promote black culture and, uh, you know, revenge, reverse racism. But right. I heard the same things from other white people, other people, different sources, and everything adds up to be, you know, getting truer and truer and, uh, you know. So Bonaboy doesn't know what he's saying, really saying, you know, he... he okay, brother. He, I'm, I'm going to have to land your plane, brother. You, thank you. I, first of all, your your reception was bad. You were kind of low, and then you were kind of rambling. And then it was a little bit hard to understand, but I, I, I respect what you... Yeah, I feel you, but I just had to land your plane. When y'all call up, y'all kind of got to get to the point, especially if your phone is a, a tad bit janky. Yeah, I wasn't trying to beat up on the brother. I was giving him a, you know, a little time to land his plane, but he was taking a minute. He was circling the airport with that one. But you know, he touched on something very interesting. You know, a lot of people over in the continent, man, over in the in Africa, a lot of people really don't know their history. They didn't know their history. And what's interesting and ironic, a lot of people tell me, and a lot of people have told me from there, they didn't really learn about their history until they started seeing the Hidden Colors movies. When I went to Europe and when I was tour over there, a lot of brothers and sisters who were from different parts of Africa, they were like, this is the first time they heard about their history. They didn't know their history like that. And they didn't. You know, so when people like Burna Boy and all of these folks start talking about what we don't know about ourselves, no, a lot of you really don't know about yourselves. In fact, our history, like I said earlier, our lineage, ironically, was pretty well documented because of the circumstances of us being enslaved and us being insured and us um, having medical records on these plantations. A lot of our stuff is actually pretty well documented compared to other groups of people. I want y'all to understand that. That's why a lot of us, we can trace some of our records or some of the names of our ancestors going back to the 18 and, and 1700s. A lot of these other groups can't do that. Some of these people can barely trace their people back to the 1940s. You understand? Especially the, the ones who immigrated over here. They don't have no records from back in these places where they immigrated from. Not really, barely. And some of these people would, especially Italians, they would come over here. They don't know. They didn't know what part of Italy their people are from like that. That's why they would call them WAPs. You know what WAPs mean without papers. They would come over here and didn't have no paperwork. So they would just write down WAP. And they're like, who is that? Oh, he's a WAP. He came over here. He ain't got no paperwork. They just show up with no paperwork. And... Look at what we have now. You have all of these undocumented people coming over here. They don't know who the hell they are. They don't know who they are now. They come over here and they they want to forget all of it. They don't have no documents of who they are. Yeah, don't let them run that game on us. We know who we are and we're cool with who we are. Y'all not going to try to project the shame that you have of your lineage on to us, just like the white supremacists. I asked, where's he from? Don't want to fucking tell you, dude. Doesn't matter, dude. That's your shame. You're too ashamed to, to name what slum in Europe you're from. That's your shame. I know where my family's from, going back generations, and got nothing but love from them, and nothing but love for them, because I get strength from their resilience. And the world, they get strength from our resilience. That's why when, when people look at people who are strong, they look at strength, they look at us. When they look for masculinity, they look to the foundation of black American man. There's a reason why you go all over the world and you have men of other cultures dressed like us. 
with the hat to the back and the hip hop clothes and they wear their clothes and they wear their shoes like us. Do you understand what I'm saying? You go anywhere on this planet, you got people dressed like foundational black American men. Anywhere. We ain't running around with flip flops and soccer shirts on. We sure ain't doing that. We ain't trying to emulate no other group. We're cool with who we are. Not to denigrate y'all, not to denigrate y'all whatsoever. But we're cool with who we are. Let me get um Sage Wizard, I think that's your name. Sage Wizard. Hop on, man. Sage, hop on. What's up, T? You lose some weight, man? Yeah, I probably did. Yeah, you man. look good in that thriller jacket over there. Yes, indeed, man. Your mom's breast milk really that does the trick. Mama has joke, a lot yeah. Yeah, mama yeah. jokes, right. Your mom's breast, they has a lot of nutrients. But go ahead. What's on your mind? That's good. So what's on your mind? What's on your mind besides man booty? What's on your mind? Hop on, sir. I, I didn't mute you. Well, I'm pretty on. sure you're the only one that mentioned man booty. Go ahead. Go ahead. What's on your mind? I'm just kind of curious. Any- Do you know... Uh, like, if the tobacco farms, cotton farms, like, what percentage of Americans had those? Um, it doesn't matter because the United States government was built off that, and they said Yeah, yeah. I'm tired of you guys thinking, like, you guys built a fucking entire world from a 1% cotton farm. You guys are fucking Stop. sad. Stop it. We was kings what? and shit. Go back oh, okay, to Africa. No, this, why, didn't you, oh, no. why didn't you open Okay, okay. Trolling proves my point. The fact that you just have to go bold and troll, you got to troll like this, that's proving my point. You don't really have a, a legitimate point. Prove so my doing- point. You called your boy a white supremacist without even knowing him. You're, uh, dude, you're, you're, you're trolling. Uh, and you're uh, another one of these white supremacists who's ashamed of where they're from. You called your African guy a white supremacist, so okay. you're a fucking retard. You're, you're, you're ashamed of where you're from. You're a retard. So. Dylan, well, you're Dylan, retard you're just, and it's Dylan, you're Dylan just repeating the same thing over and over like a woman that's a very feminine characteristic do you feel emasculated talking to black daddy is that what it is sir muting someone is uh very very yeah, feminine yeah. yeah no 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 repeating the same thing like a woman that's nagging you're just nagging you don't have anything black no nah, has... you mute because you're pussy because you can't talk <laughs> black daddy has you feeling inferior is that what it is sir yep that's it so do Africa. Okay. Anyway, sir, are you going to bow down and thank foundational black Americans for creating a homeland for you to come to, to flee to, sir? Uh, all you guys have made is peanut butter. So, uh... sir, the only peanut butter is the one you put in your butt cheeks and let your dog lick off, sir. You need to thank foundational black Americans for helping you escape Europe, sir. Why don't you thank us for that? Huh? Okay, stop it. Stop using um, epithets like that. That's not cool. We don't do that. Mute more. You, you got to... Res- okay, now you're you're angry. I got you emotional. You're very emotional because you can't intellectually bring anything to the table because you know the black people in here are tearing your ass up intellectually and you don't have any real retorts or comebacks, so you do what the white supremacists do. Goofy, lame, emotional trolling. So we're going to take our victory lap with your white supremacist tears. All right. Let me get you out of here. We don't let time wasting trolls come in here and do what they do. Let me get my brother McCall in here. Let me get my brother McCall. Brother McCall, let's speak on it and show light, brother. Waiting on him to get in. All right. Brother McCall, hop on, sir. Waiting on my brother's connection and the white supremacists. I'm not letting you back in here. So, yeah, you're not going to come in here just to whine and babble in defeat. We've already defeated you intellectually, white supremacists. So we don't want to hear defeat babble. All right. You guys are fucking lame, dude. I I don't want to hear it. Go listen to some of your BG records. Uh, you're not going to come in here whining to black people because you can't beat us intellectually. We don't want to hear it. Fuck, I'm sick and tired of you, dude, saying you built everything. There's only 2% of cotton. Shut your ass up. Nobody want to hear all that. 
<laughs> Y'all white supremacists just be making up some bullshit. There were only three slaves over here, dude. The rest were aliens from another planet. They didn't even come from Africa, dude. Y'all white supremacists just say anything. Just lame as hell. Okay, let's. Um, I want to get my brother Mikhail in here. Let's get um, All Stair in here. Ollie Stair, I think that's your name. Hop in, brother. Ollie Stair, hop in. What's up, brother Tariq? What's up, family? How I'm are doing you? good. I'm doing good. The reason why that, bro, that, that little honky was sitting up there behaving like that is because, you know, in the next 15 years, they're not going to be, they're going to be non existing and everything else. Mm -hmm. And also, too, don't go to these um, fake black museums out here, family. Start going to Brother Tariq's um, um, Foundation History Museum because a lot of these um, um, African American um, museums, they're watered down. They don't tell the truth. And I'm going to line my yeah. helicopter right now. Real talk. Um, and speaking of the museum, guys, we have an event coming up um, next Saturday, in fact, March 25th. Y'all need to come through. March 25th, come to the Hidden History Museum. We got a, the March Museum Mixer starting at 7 p.m., going all up into the night. We're going to have food there for you guys, uh, music. Um, we're having a comedy show. Our good brother Dwan B is going to be hosting a lot of good up and coming comedians going to be there. Um, red carpet. You guys need to come on through. Go to hidden history museum dot com and get your tickets. Come kick it. Get your ticket. Come kick it. All right. Let's get um, King King Law in here. Let's get King Law in here. Let me get. Then we're gonna get Slim Jones in here. Uh, but King Law. King Law first. Hop on, King. Hey, what's going on, Tariq? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm kid? pretty good. Uh, the first thing I was going to say, I, I'm starting to uh, notice that a lot of these uh, trolls that's coming into the room, into these black spaces, the foundational black spaces, really what they're trying to do is learn what we know and see what sticks. Like you just said, whatever that they can say that you will react or we will react to, they look at that as a win for them so they can take it back and put it on TV or anywhere else so they can use it as a propaganda. Uh, that's yeah. Yeah, that's the first thing I want to say. And then the second thing I want to say, speaking on the topic of us uh, not knowing where we come from, my father, he just passed um, uh, last year, and he was born in 1942. So he died, eight, you know, he had 80 years of being on this, you know, here in America. And when I look at that and I think about him and my granddad and other people who came before him, I don't think about no Africa to go back to find home. Home is here. This is where my roots, right. this is where everything is at. And I let my plane there. Real talk, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. I'm fine, man. My, my roots are here. Dude, I got, I can go back to Alabama and North Carolina. Dude, I can, I'm fine. I don't have to go back into ancient history to look up countries that don't even exist in Africa no more. Let's be clear. Some of the countries that we, some of our ancestry, because many of us were here, even before the Europeans, if we, we we talk about that in American Maroon, but even the African people who were brought over, and it was only a small percentage brought here to North America, a very small percentage, they came from countries that don't even exist in Africa no more. They've been absorbed by some of these other nations, and plus it's been colonized, and it ain't even the same people no more. That's the killing thing. Let's get Slim in here. Slim Jones, hop on, bro. Hey, man, what's up, man? Um, brother, are you up, brother? You you sleep? You, you taking a <laughs> no, nah, no. Nah, I'm just waking up. What's on your mind? Oh <clears throat> uh, man. Um, first of all, like I'm basically Nigerian, but like, okay, yeah. But like, um, I have to say that Black Americans are definitely like the truth. You know what I mean? Like, um, I like this, like the other African guy called, and he was like. A lot of us in Nigeria, we didn't really know what was going on, like in history, slavery, we didn't know shit. So like when I, I had to travel out the country to school and stuff, and I'm meeting different black people, and I don't know, like they, they treated me differently. Like they liked the fact that I was from Africa. 
they like they wanted to know my culture and different stuff like that so it, it kind of pisses me off when i hear africans like talk down on black americans and stuff like that i think it's weak yeah and, uh, it's weak it's lame it's bullshit like and it's an, it's an embarrassment because like <laughs> like the whole african pride that's going on now i think it came from black americans like the way they like the Wakanda movie and all that stuff. I think most of it came from Black Americans. So, and, and tr- you, hit on, you, you hit on something very important. We we embraced African brothers and sisters, man. We didn't, when y'all come around, oh, they're like, hey, I'm from Ghana, I'm from Nigeria. Oh, cool. So we embraced that. Yeah, we had no yeah. problem with brothers and sisters from the diaspora. Yeah. So that whole thing where these dudes be talking about, we used to tease them and beat them up. We we only clown cats because you, some cats might have dressed funny or whatever. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But, but but as far as you and your lineage, we've always embraced brothers and sisters from Africa. We had no yeah. problem with them as far yeah. as that. Yeah, yeah. That's true. My man, but thank you so much, brother. You're welcome. So let's get, um, who is this? Um, fake... <laughs> Account okay, this is another troll account. Hop on, hop on, guy. All Yo, right, what's up? What's up? I'm back. Yo, what's up, Trick? I'm good, man. What's up? Now, where, what's your name, man? You can just call me James. All right, James. James, where are you from? I'm from South Africa. But uh, I wanted to say FBA is the truth. Black Americans are the truth. Keep doing what you're doing. Nothing but love for your brother. That's all I have to say. No, See you. Thank you so much, brother. All right. All right. Let's get um, Molly Wap. Molly Wap. Get Molly Wap in here. Mr. Molly Wap. And then we get Muhammad in here. Molly Wap, hop on, brother. I see you, Nikki the God. I see you down there, beloved. Molly Wap, hop on, brother. All right, while we're waiting on Molly Wap, let's get in Muhammad. Muhammad, hop on. Yes, hi, Tariq. Nice to talk to you. I would say um, this is typical of Nigerians. They have a false sense of superiority complex when they're anything but. We know Black Americans are the most successful um group um and so basically they have nothing so they're basically in poverty um and nothing going for them while black americans have a three trillion dollar um basically buying power purchasing power and just a gdp of three trillion dollars so what that means is uh black america is richer than majority of african countries maybe all african countries combined um especially nigeria so you know I would say black Americans, delineate yourselves from these Nigerians. They're basically just pests um, and they want to leech off of your successes uh, when Nigerians go to. Where where are you now, Muhammad? Where are you from? Because I hear a little accent. Where are you from? I actually was born in America, sir. (laughs) No, no, no. no. Nigga, where are you from? You know what I'm talking about. You you were born here. Where are you from? Yes. Um, I'm going to say I actually... Uh, my parents are from Somalia, but yeah, I'm actually from America. But I have nothing against. There you go. Oh, yeah, I have nothing. There you I have go. nothing against yeah, Black I'm... Americans. You know, we actually. Got I got. Okay, but look, I know my people, and I know an accent. Yeah, of course. Hey, I there never said we were. You were my people, but you know what? I we know. can learn. A lot of people, a lot of Africans, can learn a lot from Black America. So it's just yes, it saddens me that Nigerians always end up saying such things. They have been doing it forever. They, they're the ones who came up with the word Akata. So just... But, yeah. but in Somalia, they got, some, they got some janky words for us too. So, you know, it, it, it's all over the place. But anyway, let me get some more quick. Thank you so much. Let's get um, U, yeah. Uromo. Uromo. Hop on. Romo, Can you hear me? There you go. Yeah, what's, what's going up, on, brother? Yeah, uh, Burning Boy said we don't know where we're from. Uh, we're Black Americans, and our ethnogenesis is in America. We absolutely know where we're from, and we're gonna make sure that uh, the all, the entire world knows that we're gonna keep pushing it forward. So, congratulations on your movie, congratulations on your success, and congratulations on the museum. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much. Now, brother Macau. Hopefully, my brother gets the phone together, brother Macau. I want to get my brother on here to speak some truth to power. 
waiting on Brother McCall to put ah, yeah. this phone will keep getting in and out. All right. Uh, and by the way, man, y'all need to go get the movie American Maroon if you have not gotten the movie already. American Maroon at American dash maroon.com. All right. Now we got Gutter B. Hop on, Miss Gutter, Gutter B. <laughs> hey, Tariq. Hey. What's going on? What's going on, Gutter B? Nothing. Um, you know, I heard what Burner Boy said, and I just wish that these funky Africans would stop talking about us. Um, it's really weird. They don't have this energy with Jamaicans, Dominicans, Haitians, South Americans, anybody else who was. So I think it's really odd that they have this obsession with us. All right. All right. All right, Gutter oh, B. Well, thank you. Thank you. But yeah. That's what I want to say. All right. Well, thank you, Miss Gutter. Thank you so much. All right. The calls are getting very interesting. Let's get um Snowfall in here. Snowfall. Hop on, Snowfall. Waiting on Snowfall to get in here with the, with the weird account. Snowfall, no. So, so somebody's trying to post some weird stuff on the thing, on the Jumbotron. No, no. I don't know what you're trying to promote on there. Oh, yeah. We got some of the white supremacist trolls posting bussy juice in the thing. We're not going to do that. We're not doing that. Um, Snowfall, hop on, man. Let's get Snowfall. You need to hop on. All right. Okay, Snowfall. What do these white supremacists do? Well, these white supremacists always got some kind of weird hack. It and put up some shit in the jumbotron. I can't even get it off. <laughs> these white supremacists are something else. They're always doing some weird stuff. Okay, I think I got most of it off. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, these white supremacists because. We're hitting them with facts. They're posting bussy, bussy meat <laughs> like they would do back in Europe. Yeah. All right. All right, let's get um, Def, Defy Buck. Let's get Defy Buck in the air. Defy hey, Buck. Hey, Snowfall's the one that's doing it. Anybody who's a speaker is the one that can post on the Jumbotron, so you got to remove them, G. Oh, okay. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah. Well, these white speakers are something else. Oh, and, let me get Brother McCall. Let me get Brother, and let me get Brother I, Mc... Yeah, I just wanted to... All right. Brother McCall. And Brother McCall, hop on, brother. Brother McCall, you ready? Waiting on Brother McCow to pop on while I'm getting Snowfall's bussy tweets off. And they started spamming a whole bunch of bussy tweets. Well, these, this is what these white supremacists do. When they, when they can't intellectually get down, they just do weird homoerotic stuff. All right. McCow, you in here, brother? You get your microphone working? Brother McCow. I've been trying to get Brother McCow in here. It is not working. Let me get Robbie in here. Let me get Robbie Blue in here. What's up, Brother Robbie Blue? Robbie Blue. Y'all get your microphone on. Everybody's slowing up the, the vibe here. Robbie Blue. All right, let's try one more person. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's get um, Ant CEO. Let's get him in here. Let's get Ant CEO in here. Flex, what's going on? We spoke a few times. What's going on? I'm good, man. What's on your mind, brother? Yeah, don't uh, the the Muhammad dude and the. 
couple, the other dude, the little Nigerian dude, that come up here. They trolls, bro. They be in spaces and shit. If you actually go to their tweets and type in just FBA or Black American, they be trolling and just they want to just come up and get some attention. Don't take them motherfuckers seriously. Anybody no, else, don't follow that bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Some of these people I'm already knowing. You know, it is what it is. I don't know. Thank you so much. Let me get some more folks in here. Let's go, oh, Lord. Not T. S. Giselle, Lord. The minute bussy pictures popped up, here comes T.S. Giselle. T.S. smelled bussy and came. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hold on. Hold on. Hunter, let me get Hunter in here. Hunter, hop in, man. Hunter, hop in. Waiting on Hunter to hop in. All right. Hunter, hop in. Hop in, Hunter. And... Well, okay. Y'all got to turn your microphones on while we're waiting on how to get T.S. Giselle in here. To hear what T.S. Giselle got to say. All right, T- First off, I am disgusted. If you was moving a little yeah. too slow to clear that foolishness out of the Jumbotron. Yeah, I'm I trying was to get it out. in my beauty sleep and I was awoken um, because I had to use the restroom. And then I, of course, naturally checked my phone to see what I missed. Um, I had yeah. a few too many cocktails tonight, and so I went to bed early, um, and I saw you had a space, so I thought I would tip, tip, tip on hardwood floors and see what was <laughs> going on. <laughs> <laughs> so what that was, so yeah, we're just talking about how um, people like Burna Boy and these folks try to say we need to go back to Africa and all this stuff, and we don't know who we are. So, you know, what do you think about that? Well, I heard you say, Tariq, that your origins are from North Carolina, so we may be distant cousins. Oh, Lord. Um, so, <laughs> number one, Burner Boy is my baby daddy, so not too much on Burner Boy. Um, I don't agree with his comments. Actually, believe it or not, I kind of actually agree with the general opinion that Black Americans, our roots are in America. Um yeah. I know some Black Americans are ashamed, I don't want to say ashamed, but because of our interesting history in this country, we may not like to claim America, but I actually take pride that my ancestors built the richest and most powerful country in the world. I take pride in that. So when I am around, you know, the diaspora community, I'm very clear. You're not, when I was in Jamaica, a Black British girl who was of Jamaican And I believe she had some Spanish descent also. She was trying to shame Black Americans and like essentially saying, why do y'all call yourselves American or why are you proud to be American? And I actually checked her. Sweetheart, my ancestors built the richest and most powerful country in the world. Um, I'm not going to be ashamed of that. I, I, I love the fact that, you know, you are... You're British, but your origins are from Jamaica. But, you know, honey, we're American and, you know, and I get that. Right. Um, right. And that's a good that's a good point. That's actually a good point. Um, a lot of people that you have you guys notice that people try to shame us into not having any kind of patriotism with for the nation we built. Like, why you guys call yourself American? Why? No, because we built this country. We're not ashamed of that. In the white man's land. Look, the, the planet is the white man's land. Don't ever let them run that game. Their homelands are run by white people. And they're the majority. They're not going to pull no kind of rank. Your homelands, wherever you're from, wherever y'all fled from, the white supremacists run that. And they run it as a minority. You think? So if you can have pride in your homeland, you can walk around with the flags and all of that stuff. We can too. And the thing about us, we're not leaving. You think? There's a real big difference. Let's get um the Ira. What's that? What's your name? The Iron Mike. The Iron Mike. Hop on. The, wait, did I let you in? Hold on. I thought I let you in. The Iron Mike. Hop on. The Iron Mike. The Iron Mike. Oh, well, yeah, man. 
The Iron Mike, where you at, brother? Okay. Okay, let's Hello? get on. Um, let's... You got me? Oh, I can hear you now. What's up, Iron Mike? Okay. Peace and blessings. This is Showtime from Detroit. Godfather My of man. Iron Mike, based in the People's Republic of China. Love and light. Yes, sir. So, okay, well, that... what's the science? I mean... Oh, okay, shit. Okay, let me get some other people. This brother is shouting out shit. Yeah, and I don't know what he's talking about. I mean, and he, then he was confused. And, but y'all got to get to the point. This brother said he's from Detroit and he's part of the Iron Mike in the Republic of China. Oh, Lord. Lord, I don't even know where that what that was about. Yeah, that was about to be some plebiscite babbling right there. One of them niggas. Oh, Lord, this dude said he's from the Republic of China. Oh, God, I, I can see him sitting up there with a fez on, eating some bammy with a wok and some chopsticks. Good Lord. Brother was all over the place. Let's get um, Big Boy Waz in here. Big Boy Waz. Yo, 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 what's up? So, yeah, I think that was very interesting what Bernard Butt had to say. I, I think it was very disrespectful. Um, you know, that was very insensitive. And, you know, especially considering the fact Black Americans have been in the United States for, like, 10,000 years since, like, the Land Bridge and, you know, like, Asia. You know, it's kind of fucked up to say that. But, like, Tariq, have you ever been to Africa? Did you feel as... Did you feel at home? Like, how did you... Like, what were your interactions there? <clears throat> no, I, I had some very good interaction with the people. Man. People were actually very good. Brother, you all right? You got COVID or oh, Ebola? You all right? Okay, good. But yeah, the people were very cool over there. They were actually very nice over there. But I was visiting, you know. People are generally nice to a visitor. Um, now, if I wanted to set up a residency, because I kept asking about dual citizenship and nobody was really biting on that. So I think there might be a whole different vibe. Now, where are you from originally? Where's your family from? Because I hear an accent. I'm half Tanzanian, half Black American, half Ghanaian, half Black American. So like, I'm like global. There's too many halves. No, 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 nigga. I'm in court. I'm not court. I'm sorry. Okay, hey, there's too many halves. You can't be half Tanzanian and half. How, how the fuck are you all of those halves? Oh yeah, sorry, my bad. <coughs> what part of Tanzania, <coughs> nigga? But <laughs> nigga, do you have malaria? What the fuck is <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. But I wanted to nigga, ask. Drink you some COVID tea or some elderberry, nigga. Damn. Now, what you want to ask? It might be that bussy disease, bro. But um, that's what it is, bro. What did you do to get your freak? <laughs> I wanted to ask. Do you feel? <laughs> Sound like you did something funny for a little piece of money <laughs> and not. <laughs> Damn, brother. Nah, I don't want to. Was it that hard to get the green card, nigga? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of cool, just like my, like, I don't know, kind of yeah. sick, but. Um, All right, girl. All right. Do you, what African countries did you visit? I went to Tanzania. Oh, I've been shit. To, I've, yeah, I've been to Tanzania, Zanzibar. I've been out. I've been there. Did you like the beaches? There. Yeah, it was cool. It was very nice out there. The people were very, very cool. Um, now, where are you now? I'd say now I'm in Florida, so. Right, right. Um, now, how long you been in Florida? I'd say three years. Three years, okay. All right. How long you been working for Uber? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Y'all niggas be driving Uber like a motherfucker down in <laughs> We don't drive <laughs> Uber, bro. What the fuck? No, stop. Nigga, you either drive for Uber or you you do insurance scams. Either <laughs> one. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. No. But anyway, man, but thank you so much. All right, see you, Terry. Have a good one. You be good, brother. But yeah, been, we've been to Tanzania. Me and my lady went to Tanzania and um, Zanzibar. Nice people, man. Real good people. Remember we stayed in the animals? Yeah, we, we saw, man. We, was the Serengeti? We stayed in the Serengeti, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Anaconda and yeah. Let me get my brother Afro Elite in here. <laughs> Afro Elite. Hop on, brother. It's Afro Elite in the building. All right. Where you at, Afro Elite? Waiting on Afro Elite to tap in. 
and while we're waiting on Afro Elite, let's get um Lindo while we're waiting on Afro Elite to get it together. Let's get Lindo in here. Lindo. Lindo, hop on, man. Lindo, you want to unmute your mic? Turn your microphone on, Mr. Lindo. All right. I hate when y'all be slowing the game up here. Y'all be slowing the conversation. Now let's get um GMG. I see a Somalian flag. What's up, GMG? What's up, man? I hear it somewhere. Um, GMG, whatever your name is, hop on, man. All right. Yeah, y'all taking forever to connect. Lindo, you still there? Lindo, you want to turn your microphone on? All right, Lindo. Okay. Lindo don't have it together. Okay. Let's get Gabriel in here. All right, let's get Gabriel. And we still got a lot of people in here. No, not my cousin. I got a cousin named Gabriel. Hey, Lindo or Gabriel, which one? Yo. What's up, Gabriel? What's up, Tari? What's up, man? What's on your mind? Uh, Just like on the topic space, I think it's kind of fucked up what Burnham Boy said, how other ethnicities could trace their roots, but Black Americans are, un are unable to do that. And I think that's kind of very dis... I thought that was, like, disrespectful and, like, this to Black Americans, because I know plenty of Black Americans who could trace their roots to or trace their lineage back centuries. So, that's my oh, thoughts yeah. on this. That's my thoughts on yeah, you this topic. Thank, thank you so much, brother. All right. Okay. All right. Molly Wap keeps trying to get back on. Molly Wap, hop on, man. Hop on, Molly Wap. Turn the microphone on, Molly Wap. How you doing? What's going on? My man, what's happening with you, Molly uh, Wap? No, I, I just wanted to, um, you know, give you props. I, I'm the one who last year, I, me and you went back and forth over... Um, the museum money, the funds, and what you did with them. And I think recently that you actually managed to build this museum. I was so surprised. I, I didn't think you'd actually do it. In fact, what? I was sure you, yeah, what? You, were, you were a scammer, but I, yeah. you proved me wrong, and I just wanted to give you props. Right. Now, what? Now, why did you underestimate me and other foundations? I'm not joking. Flex, you I'm not going to lie. You took forever to build that shit. I mean... It, Year and a half. It didn't take. That I long. mean, a year and a half is pretty long, especially when you you received over one million. But uh, uh, finally, you know, you you built something that the FBA and Black Americans in general could be proud of. Yes, indeed. Now, um, no, have you? Are you going to help build something in your homeland, sir? Because uh, I would like. No, to I've already. I've already built. I mean, built something for myself. Yeah. What'd you build? Sir? I've built, I've helped my own community. I've built a, you know, I, I've, I have my uh, people in America. I've gone to America. I've, I've gotten money. I've sent it back. We've helped, helped build a little village. Okay. You also y'all built a whole community of DoorDash drivers. Uh, That's cool. Yeah, I see you got the jokes, eh? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 you have jokes, I've always, eh. Anyways, uh, Tariq, um, now, where are you from again? Now, where are you from? Oh, again? I mean, I, I'm I'm from Nigeria. There you go. Yeah. Um. Now, how long you now? What city you live in now? What part of America you live in? Now? Oh, in America, uh, I live in uh, Baltimore. It's, Baltimore. It's where all the Nigerians, you know, come to stay. Okay. Now, I don't think you live. I think you just made that up. Where you live? You you live in New York? No, no. Where you live? No, Cleveland? I'm dead ass, bro. I live in Baltimore. What part of Baltimore? What part of Baltimore? I live East Baltimore. East Baltimore. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's, right. pretty, it's pretty nice around here. You should you, uh, you should come visit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, but anyway, but thank you so uh, much, brother. I appreciate too. it. I appreciate it. All right. Yeah, he. 
Uh, he thought that we weren't going to get the museum. They were projecting their scams onto us. You no, know, we got the museum. The museum is popping and it's beautiful. And we have a great event happening next week. And I'm going to see all you guys there. What's up, Afro Elite? Let me get you in here, brother. Do y'all hear my dog in the back snoring? Them, them Frenchies be snoring their asses off. What's up, Afro Elite? Well, the connecting, it's still having connected activity trouble with you Afro Elite. All right, let me get you back on in a minute, Afro Elite. It's still, I'm trying to get you on. It's not connecting, brother. All right, let's get Robert. All right, because I've been on here for a long time. So let's get Robert in here. Robert? Hello? It was going on. Through. What's up, Robert? It was going on, too. Uh, about the topic, you know, I just really thought uh, Burner Boy was really out of pocket. He was really out of pocket on that statement. You know, I'm first generation Kenyan. And uh, what, what was it? Uh, uh, things you were talking about earlier about um, how a lot of a lot of Africans, they don't know their histories because like, especially if, uh, in Kenya, after they got rid of the British, as you know, like the British went scorched earth destroyed a lot of yeah. it destroyed a lot of the roads infrastructure the a lot of the animals destroyed a lot of the uh, records like i was even talking to my mom a couple of weeks ago we were actually talking about the history of kenya and she was saying that um yeah you know like my grandmother they don't know their they a lot of their documents got destroyed you know yeah. during during, during yeah. the fighting and a lot of the uh, uh agriculture a lot of the animals a lot of the uh, the roads, the railroads, they just they just got destroyed, and that's what that's why a lot of African nations they don't really know their history because because you know as you know like before colonization, the continent of Africa was free. Everybody tribes were just going back and forth. Like even though my tribe is from Kenya, we still have roots in like West Africa and like in Cameroon, in Ghana, in Niger and other uh, African nations because tribes, you know, they traded and they mixed freely with, the, with one another. So there was no such thing as borders or uh, countries at that time. So, so I think it's like a, a huge misconception that like, like, as you said, like black Americans, you can trace your, your lineage, you know, four or five centuries because everything, everything yeah. was documented as soon as you, as soon as um, everybody came here or as soon as, uh, America was form was being formulated. Everything was meticulously documented. Yeah. But in yes, in Africa, a lot of things weren't. And I also want to say shout out to you for that movie. I like the way you broke down the history of Columbus and cleared all that yeah. all that stuff up. And I think yes, I think that's why the government now like they don't really celebrate Columbus Day um, as a natural ho holiday like it used to be. Now it's like something else. Right. Because they, right. they, they saw the heat that uh, the truth was coming out. Like Columbus was, had nothing to do with North America uh, settling up deep, what, what is now America. So I, yeah. I enjoyed the movie. I appreciate all your work. I definitely, I'm from Dallas, so I'll definitely be at the FBA Expo out here in May. Oh yeah, love that. Can't wait to see you, brother. Thank you so much. But yeah, my man made a good point. Like I said, man, over in, in parts of Africa, man. The, they don't really have records of their history like that because of the colonization. And like my man said, and I told y'all this earlier, the, the imperialists, when some of these African nations were getting their independence, they were burning and destroying a whole bunch of documents. They were going scorched earth. So a lot of people over there don't have any records of their history. So when they start talking about, we don't know our history, no, you don't know yours. Because our history, actually, and our, our lineage was very meticulously documented, and it's still the same country. That's why we can trace our stuff back. Shit, some of us going to the 1700s. There's some of us who can trace our shit back to the 1600s. Back to the original colony, some of us can trace some of our lineage back. You, you dig? Not too many people can do that. A lot of Europeans can't do that. They can't trace their stuff back. We got to stop letting people say shit and not check it and not just really scrutinize what they say. Like these white supremacists calling up trolling. 
these folks came over here starving and struggling a few decades ago, dude. They don't know nothing about their people back in Europe. They don't keep in touch with them folks no more. They don't know none of them people back in raggedy ass Ireland. They don't know these people no more. They don't keep in touch with them. They act like them folks don't exist. Dude, let's keep it a buck, man. We know our damn roots. We know our history, dude. We are the culture of this land. This is our joint, man. This is our land, and we are the culture of America. We are foundation of black Americans, man. And we have a rich culture. We are the culture of this country, dude. Don't y'all ever forget that. Everything that's a part of American culture was either created by or influenced by foundational black Americans. Now, that's either a true statement or a false statement. Now, a white supremacists can come up here and try that. I'm white and I say so. Well, it was the English who were doing tobacco. Shut up. You just babbling, dude. Just coming in here saying anything. That's trolling. And then they just start posting weird pictures, you know. But let's get this guy here. Um, Samir. Hop on, Samir. Yeah, what up, Tariq? How you doing, man? What's up, Samir? Where are you from, Samir? Um, ethnically, um, Ethiopia, but I was born in Canada. There you go. So what's on your mind? Yeah, I just I, I saw the clip of uh, Burna Boy. Um, he sounded hella ignorant. Um, I don't think he meant any malice, but it doesn't really matter about the intention. You yeah. know, because... Ignorance, you might as well be, you know, intentional about it. But I don't know. Hopefully, someone can reach out to him, and uh, maybe this can be like a learning experience. Yeah. Uh, because you know he he has such a big platform, and you know maybe he can use this as an ex- you know a learning experience and and gain some knowledge because it just it he sounded like he came from a you know ignorant uh, point of view. You know, I don't think he was trying to cause harm, but. Um, yeah, I don't know if someone can reach out to him and maybe have a conversation about it and, and he can yeah, learn from it. Yeah, and he was, you know, my, my guy Shaka was talking to him and I'm real cool with Shaka bars. But yeah, that whole narrative, I, I'm just, that's going to have to stop because it's an untrue narrative. This whole thing, we don't know who we are. Yeah, fuck all that. You know, y'all got to cut that bullshit out because we know who we are. Y'all, a lot of this stuff is projection. Don't project y'all shit onto us. You going here? Yeah, don't project on us. We know who we are. We got to watch that show, sweetie. Yeah. We know who we are, man. Let me get my brother Black Voltron to bring this thing home. Let me get Black Voltron to speak truth to power here. Black Voltron, hop on, sir. Hey, good evening, Big B1. To you. Salute to you, Tariq. Appreciate it. Uh, forgive the noise. I'm at work. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. What's on your mind? Man, uh, I just clicked on, uh, you know, Twitter and stuff like that, taking a break right now. And I'm sitting up here looking at some ignorant-ass nigga. Don't know where he's from. Don't know who this nigga is. Don't really give two fucks about him. Sound like an immigrant tether. And I don't know what the hell he's talking about, but I know exactly where the hell I'm coming from. I'm from Oakland, California, partner. Town business in the yes. building, 3500 block. My, I'm a fifth-generation yes. Oakland, California resident. My great grandfather came here from New Orleans, Louisiana. So, goddamn it, I come from the um, the hell ho- hell holes of the slave plantations, descended Freeman. I know who the fuck mm-hmm. I am, nigga. Shut the fuck up with all that bullshit. As far yeah, as I'm so. concerned, um, it's about time we check these tethers back to back to back. I'm tired of it. Yeah. People saying that yeah. the foundation of Black Americans do not know who we are. We have the slave records. We have the census records. We, we have all types of uh, uh, records in ancestry, um, county, state, federal information. There's no excuse for foundation black Americans can't find out who they are, whether it be third generation, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. I can trace my family so far back to 1785, okay? So, I, so nigga, what is you talking about, Bernie boy? Man, go yeah. on with all that bullshit, partner. We know who the hell we are. Who the fuck are you? You the one had to flee where the fuck you came from. Come to my goddamn country, all right, nigga. You wouldn't you wouldn't even prosper if it wasn't for foundation of Black Americans. So, what, nigga, what the fuck is you talking about? No, we know who we are. We are proud foundation of Black Americans, as Dr. Carl Adams said, an exceptional people. So, check these motherfuckers every time they open their mouth, just like we check the NAACP in San Francisco and anybody else 
who want to open their goddamn mouth about us, about foundation of black Americans. The disrespect of us is over, okay? I don't know how how, 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 how many times you got to say that, Tariq. That, bu- that disrespectful bullshit ain't happening. I don't give a fuck who it is. We will be equal opportunity checking any race, creed, color, or sexual orientation. Say some dumb shit about us. We're going to check your punk ass. Black Voltron out. My man, real talk. Black Voltron reloaded. Man, so yeah, that right there, that brought it home right there. But yeah, we got to check everybody. And look, no, no, you know, no hatred for Burner Boy. You know, he, you know, I, 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 those kind of conversations are so normalized. He might not have thought he was being uh, a person of malice by saying it. And again, Shaka Bars is my guy. But just the whole concept of that conversation is disrespectful because that's a narrative that's been put on us that the projection we know who we are all of these other groups really don't know who they are y'all are the ones who are not documented like that y'all don't have records of yourself and your lineage and yet you y'all don't have that that's you guys who don't really know who you are and who your your great 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 grandparents are y'all don't have no records of that stuff we know, you think? So we got to get a lot of straightening going on here with this stuff. We really got to get some straightening going on. We know who we are. We know what our culture is. And we're still here engaging and promoting and propping up our culture. And there is going to be respect on it. The disrespect is over. I ain't taking no disrespect from nobody. Every time we're minding our business and then people just throw us under the bus for no, no, that's over, man. I ain't with that shit no more. Everybody's getting checked. Y'all say something real off the wall about foundation of black Americans. Yo, you got to get checked on that. Well, these white supremacists, tethers, everybody has to get it. You got to check them. And I'm, we're letting you guys know the ammunition to use, which is your own history and their history. You dig? Go get the movie American Maroon. If you want to get some real good game and some good intellectual ammo, get that damn movie. So when these white supremacists come in here talking crazy, you can hit them with references because we got pictures, books, names, all of the stuff to prove the the stuff that we were saying. And hell, when we talk about the black aboriginal people who were here, we can quote white scholars who are proving that it was black people here because they like to try to play it off as, well, that's Afrocentrism, dude. Hell, I can point to the white boys who were saying that it was black people here. There was a brother who called early who talked about Leo Werner. That's a white dude. You had Von Woot now and Constantine Rafinesque and all of these white scientists and anthropologists who were saying that it was black people over here for thousands of years. I can point to 10, 15 white folks before I even get to the black people, before I get to the Renoko Rashidis and the um, Dr. Clyde Winters and the Ivan Van Sertimas. I go to 10, 15 white boys before I get to the brothers who are just as thorough, if not more thorough, to prove the history. You did? Proving that there were black people on this land thousands of years before, not just the Spaniards, but even the red natives. There were black here, black folks who are aboriginal here before the red natives came over. We break that down in the movie. Oh, we break all of it down. It's a three-hour movie where we meticulously break this history down. Y'all better get that movie, American Maroon, at American-Maroon.com, ladies and gentlemen. Also, get your tickets to join us next week at the Hidden History Museum. Come on to the museum. Learn some more history. We got some great artifacts in there, great images, talking about some of our great master teachers and scholars Come to the museum next Saturday, man. We got a great event coming up there. Comedy show, um, food. Come up to eat with us, break bread. We got the music. A lot of fine women's going to be up there. A lot of honeys. Ladies going to be some thorough dapper brothers who got it together. Y'all need to fall through, ladies. It's going to be nice, man. The comedians are going to be popping. Historic artifacts, man. You can learn history, enjoy yourself, be around like-minded people. Go to hiddenhistorymuseum.com 
to get your tickets right now, hiddenhistorymuseum.com. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for tonight. I think we had a constructive conversation. Hope you're cool, Tam. Lola Vuve to the family. Peace.